Hounds get ready for an all-new amazing tidbit out here in Pittsburgh, Monroeville, right down the street from the Monroeville Convention Center where we're at Steel City Con for Brewstone. That's right. We're Brewstone. here tonight. Yeah, Brewstone. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, oh, hold, hey, oh, hold, oh, hold. Oh. Brewstone. Brewstone? Brewstone. Then let's give it infringement. No. Brewstone. Not Brimstone. All right, Brewstone, not Listen, Brimstone. Listen, but you're going to love this place. I'm you like, like burgers. I like burgers. You like steak. I love steak. If Corey was with us, I'd say you like some beer. I do like beer. Yes. So this is the place we... Let's go inside and check this place out. Come on. Who's throwing it out? Ridiculous. Here you go. Ready? You grab one. Spicy. However, it's not overbearing. The cheese just flew right up to your tongue melts. Fantastic. The different tortilla chips cracked up and used inside the batter. It's just, that's just unreal. I've never seen that before. It's good, right? It's amazing. And that's sauce. And I've seen some loaded nachos in my lifetime. This is this is unbelievable. First of all, you have the option to put chicken steak or pork on your nachos, and the food rounds just had to have all three. 
look at the size of this meat. This is a piece of chicken. And then, this part over here, this is a piece of steak. Not a little steak. Where's a bigger piece, right? There we go. No, not the. The chicken is enormous. They have littler pieces of the steak going on over here. Alright. And we also have somewhere hidden under there is pork. Oh, we found it. Oh, ooh, that is sweet. Oh, man. So right here, you have one of the most comprehensive nachos that I've ever seen. Guys, grab a chip. Make sure you got some dip. And why don't you try some of that? Made ourselves a sandwich. We got some uh, some cheese in there, some sour cream. Looks like there's other stuff hidden there. There's avocado over there. Here's my taco sandwich. My nacho sandwich. My nacho nacho sandwich is my sandwich. You break off a little piece out. Let's get that up top. Come up. Oh, it's like dried out. I think. Oh, here we go. Bon appetit. There is so much flavor in here. The cheese is so delicious. And the meat is so juicy. This tastes fresh. This tastes sweet. This is a little bit spicy. Not a little bit of the crunch. This is boss. Grab a beer, get some nachos, watch the game. <laughs> without that insane kick up here in your sinuses. It's like a sweet. It's nice. It's really nice. Me personally, bring on the heat, baby. I want to feel that wasabi burn. But, you know what? This is pretty damn delicious. Thank you, uh, Oh, Thank you. Thank you for me. And thank you, Rusto. So this is the pork chowder with a little bit of uh, Olive crackers, oyster crackers on the side. That olive. Now look at this thing. It's got color. It's got consistency. It's got thickness. Look at that. And it's got big old chunks of everything in here. See the corn? See, I can easily just be like, it's corny, it's chowdery, it's good. Another big old potato chunk. Now, what I like about this, it's not runny. Some other places make this stuff runny. Like all they did is just erase some corn and here you go. But it's got flavor. It actually has a little bit of a spice to it. Not really a kick, but there's there's seasoning in there that you can actually feel and taste. You can actually see it in there. There's little bits of a uh, little bits of a uh, seasoning right on top there. I do like some corn chowder. Cheese. 
with some chicken on top. I said that mac and cheese is mac and cheese. This is why I go with some chicken. I gotta get some chicken off from Texas, so I hope this brings me back because I miss that place. Oh, I was boring. I got fries on the side, but I'll tell you something. Those fries are crispy, crunchy, delicious. I don't know what they fried it in, but it's pretty damn good fries. Flavor just keeps on building. It's like a little roller coaster. Start off with the juicy chicken. And then the, uh, I believe that's like a, like a light sauce and some onion, tomato. It brings that a little bit, uh, a little bit more of an earthy taste to a little green taste. The jalapeno comes in, and I don't really think jalapeno about that hot, but it adds a really nice kick to it. Nice, the bun is crispy, lightly toasted, and the, uh, I actually didn't get, I hardly got any avocado in that bite, so I'm gonna take one more and let you know how that A lot of the coolness, the fresh feeling to the sandwich. This is a great sandwich. Hey man, Bluestone, what can I say? You know how to do chicken. Over here at Bluestone, okay, they have got this amazing pizza. They actually have a whole pizza menu that is dedicated to the deliciousness of this delicious treat. So, Right here is, as you can see, the pulled pork bar pizza. Now, a lot of people already saw it when they were watching early. They saw it eating up that, devouring the, the pulled pork. It was in those nachos. But well, right here is the ultimate the barbecue pulled pork inside a pizza. Here, you got roasted corn, scallions, caramelized onions, cheddar cheese. Oh my god, the aroma is just, oh. Sweet, smoky, cheesy, delicious, fresh, it pops out. Every single little touch of love that's in this bite, every single bite. Watching the Austin video or something? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, no. 
I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, listen up, people. Again, make sure you come down here with your peoples. Get some brews. Get some food. Get some wonderful deliciousness. And as always, make sure you eat well and prosper, baby. Be well. I'll hurt you, boy. <laughs> <laughs>